Hello and welcome to Lab Three. My name is Yu Gu, and I will be walking you through the important steps of this lab. You will be making a single LCD pixel. For this lab, you will need two pieces of ITO coated glass, which are also coated with polyvinyl alcohol or PVA. The side of the glass that's uncoated should be marked. You will also need two linear polarizers, a piece of microfiber dust cloth, a suspension of polystyrene spheres which act as spacers, some can air, a pipette, pipette tips, the LCD crystal, which is 5CB, some glue, a binder clip, clear tape, copper tape, a 9 volt battery, the same photoresistor circuit you used in lab 1, alligator clips, and a battery strap. First, you will prepare the optical sensor for your setup, which is the photoresistor circuit previously shown. Start with a 10 kilo ohm resistor in series with a photoresistor. Tape the photoresistor face down on one of the polarizers. Use the 9 volt battery to bias the circuit as drawn in the lab handout. Now you will assemble the LCD pixel. Make sure to wear latex gloves for this part. Start with the two pieces of glass with the ITO and PVA coated sides facing up. You can always check this using an ohm meter. Using the microfiber dust cloth, rub both pieces of glass along the long direction. This results in micro grooves inside the PVA layer, which creates boundary conditions for the LCD crystals. Now put a drop of the spacer solution on one of the glass slides. Flip over the second slide and press down to spread out the spacers. Then dry both slides with canned air.
Now put a very small drop of glue on each corner of your pixel. These should define roughly a square. Flip over and align the top slide with the PVA side down. Press down firmly and wait until the glue is dry. Once the glue is dry, use the pipette to fill the pixel with 5CB. Place a drop of the 5CB along the edge where the slides cross. With the help of capillary forces and gravity, the 5CB should slowly fill up the pixel. Add a second drop of 5CB as needed. Once the pixel is filled, wipe off any extra 5CB. Place your pixel between the two polarizers, one of which should have the photoresistor setup attached to it. Align the polarizers such that the pixel is by default in the off state. Secure the assembly with a binder clip. To make electrical connections, scratch off some of the PVA on both slides to expose the ITO underneath. Wrap copper tape around the two slides to make two electrodes. Now you will connect your LCD pixel to a signal generator.
use the 9 volt battery to bias the phototransistor circuit. and connect the oscilloscope leads to measure the voltage across the photoresistor. Characterize the LCD pixel by driving it at different voltages and frequencies as written in the lab handout.